today we've got a super exciting day because we are heading to the border of Honduras. Get off the motorcycle and follow me in the vehicle. Take off your helmet. You handed him in front of two other people uh -huh. 500. That's not how you're supposed to do it, my love. Yeah, you're yeah. You're supposed to be way more subtle than that. So anyway, a bit of a tricky situation, but it turned out okay. And now we are only an hour from the border, so good to go. Police barrier number 25. I think I won't overtake this bus. No. Just in case. Unless he waves me round. Okay, yeah, let's wait. Oh. He waved. Oh, he okay. Wa he waved me past. Well, oh, Venez. Now it's always quite intense, hey? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah. Gotta be careful. Yeah. <laughs> Sé que hubo otros caminos y tuviste que partir. Pero... Lovely area here, absolutely lovely. We're getting pretty close to the border now. It's another 15 minutes and we should be there. And it's just past one o'clock. So we're doing pretty good. But that's all going to depend on how long it takes us to cross that border. Oh, oh wow. Is it here? Apparently, this might be something, hey? Something. Yeah. Hola, buenas. La frontera aquí? Ah, migración? Okay, parque. Okay. Gracias. Hola. Okay. All right. We're here. The <laughs> ducky. <laughs> Passport. Si. Sí. Okay, so we filled in a customs declaration here and showed our passport to the fella but actually they didn't do any passport stamping or anything really that was just like a pre-check check so I think now we have to go up to here to do the real stuff I think let's go to here It's so empty here today, it's insane, there's like nobody here Yeah, insane Probably just here Okay, we'll just stop here then. I mean, this is where the car in front of us has stopped. Hola, buenas. Okay. All right, round two. Muchas gracias, thank you. Gracias. So we've done the Nicaraguan side, and now we're coming into the Honduran side. Hola, migración. Migración Honduras. Ah, migración Honduras. I think it's everything we need for the Honduran side is here. So let's go and do it. Yes. Getting there. So we're just here at customs and it's time to put the Lavi and Oli sticker on another wall of fame. Yeah, I think this place is quite nice, eh? Yeah, there we go. There's Lavi and Oli. <laughs> here at the Honduran border. <laughs> Woo! Bienvenidos a Honduras. Amigo de Gran Bretaña, que la pasen bien. Muchas gracias. Felicidades. Felicidades. Thank you so much. Thank Muchas you gracias. so much. We got it. <laughs> Woo! So there we go. Such nice guys at the Honduran Customs. We had like pictures together. Oh, Lavi, something. Listen, what's that noise? Can you see something? I don't know. Did you hear that? Hola. Hola, buenas. Gracias. 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 Okay. Listen. It's a bit weird. It's like the squeakiest sound ever. Yeah. Okay, here's quite flat here. Okay, I was going to talk about the process, but first we're going to have to see if we can get this chain sorted because it's making a crazy noise at the moment. It's like... <coughs> so we're going to give it a spray and see if the noise stops. So we had a little inspection here of the wheel and it is making some really funny noises, but there is a spoke which is loose. So Lavi's just doing up the spoke. 
and we're going to see if that changes anything. There might be some sort of crack at the bottom of the spring here, not on the spring, but around the gasket, which is got the uh, metal bar in the middle. Sorry, I don't know the technical names, unfortunately. But yeah, we still can't really figure out what's causing the noise. We'll uh, run it in first gear again and see if we can see something. Okay, it's running and it's not making any weird noise, hey? Okay, maybe it was the uh, spoke doing something strange as it was going round. No, it sounds good now. Okay, well, we have to basically pray that there isn't anything else going on and um, call that job done. Okay, let's have a listen and see if that sounds better. With a bit of an oil spoke tightened up. Yeah. Listen, much better. Sounds like new. <laughs> Sounds like new, ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing an Allen key can't fix, hey? <laughs> but anyway, the border process here on the Honduran side was super, super easy. Uh, we just one window, got the passport stamped. Next window, got our temporary import permit from customs and got a picture with them. And they were like super friendly and they really wanted to like know what we were doing and asking us about the trip and just like, just really loved Yes, really cool people actually. But the process did cost us a little bit money. It was like 36 US dollars for the temporary import permit. Yeah. And then it was four US dollars each to enter Honduras. So yeah, in the end cost us 44 dollars in total to get in. Yeah. That's like a whole day's budget for us. So <laughs> that is actually quite crazy, but nothing you can do, I guess. There's nothing we can do. So okay. anyway, we have found a campsite actually, uh, which is an hour 45 away from here because we were kind of thinking whether to go all the way to the capital, to Gulsikalpa, but then this campsite is in a small town just before, so it'll be a bit quieter, a bit nicer, and we won't have to ride so far today. So it seemed quite cool, but we're gonna go check it out and see if it's open, if it exists, how much it is. Yes, I really miss my tent as well. It's been ages since we last camped. The last time we camped was was in Jujuy in the far north of Argentina just before the Bolivian border. Crazy man. And I think the tent missed us too. So let's see if we can reunite with it tonight. But anyway, welcome Honduras! Oh yeah, I forgot to say, <laughs> we're officially here. We have entered Honduras. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Right. Country yeah. number 18 on our journey around the world. Que tenías el mundo a tus pies Tanta gente en tus manos Sin nunca dudar de quién eres Seducir es tu gran adicción Si es llorando Muerte lenta para un corazón El día llegará Que no encontrarás 23,999.9 We just hit 24,000 miles on the road! Woo! Yeah! So we've just come into the town El Zamorano um, and apparently there's a campsite which is like four minutes down this road. So yeah, I hope it exists. Fingers crossed. Some little doggies on the road. Hello. Hello. Yeah, otherwise it was a really tough um, road actually from the border to, to this town here. The road is like pretty broken. Yeah, a lot of potholes and yeah. uh, we are bouncing around. 
a lot. Yeah. And we got some strange noises still coming from uh, under the bike. So not 100% sure if we have actually resolved that. Yeah, it's really worrying. I don't know like what it is, you know. Yeah. Is it in here? It's supposed oh. to be. Yeah. Maybe we can ask Yeah. this guy. Hola. Hola, buenas. Buenas. Um, camping? Uh, Casa Zamorano, camping. Uh-huh. Es aquí? Yeah. Aquí? Oh, okay. Uh, reservation, no, no, no reservation. We just wanted una noche uh, para camping. Para, para camping, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay? Yeah? Apparently it's okay. Mm. Okay. Okay, gracias. Okay. 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 Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Okay, so now it's cross just down this little path here. Okay. Oh yeah. <sighs> Bash plate. It's supposed to be here. Okay. Okay. Just got a couple of dogs barking at us, and I don't really see much else going on. Ah. Yes, I saw this on the picture. I think the entrance is on the other side. Okay. So I'm gonna, just going to go around the block. Okay. Here. Yeah. Okay. Let's check it out. Yeah, let's ask this fella. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Hola, buenas. Buenas. <laughs> uh, es uh, Casa Zamarillo para uh, camping. Sí. Sí. Una ba baraga para una noche. Ah, pero es que es por reservación. Uh, reservación. Sí. Uh, no, no reservación. Sí, entonces tiene que ser como tiene que ya estar alquilado. Para hoy es alquilado. Ah, todo reservado. Ya, ya está. Sí. Ah, okay. Oh, no. Otro y camping aquí. Este de la gasolinera Puma. Uh, gasolinera Puma, sí. A mano yendo hacia allá, a mano derecha. Okay. So Puma eh, Casa Estrella? Sí, sí. Okay. It looked actually quite nice, didn't it? Oh no. Trying to find this second campsite. And this road is absolutely ridiculous going to it. <laughs> and we don't even know if this place exists. Yeah, it's really ridiculous ro road. Yeah. I mean, look at it. Oh, oh. Ay, ay, ay. Hitting all kinds of undersides of the bike here. It's ridiculous. Is it still further down here? Yeah, apparently. Okay. I don't know if that exists actually. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, apparently it's just like, it's just here, you know. So look. look. Casa Estrellita. Mm. Let me, um, let yeah. me. Have yeah, a look. Yeah, jump off, have a little look. So Lavi's just talking to the fella here and he said it's not it's not really a campsite, he said, even though they are listed on Google as a campsite. But he says we can camp here. Twenty dollars too much. Ten dollars, okay. Twenty no. Ten dollars? Okay. So you agree to price then. So it's not really a campground, but he said he we can camp there for ten dollars. Hola buenas. Where should we go? Anywhere? <laughs> big place, no? no? Big place. Is this one as well your house? Mm -hmm. This yeah. one? And this one? Mm -hmm. And this. Wait, like everything. See? So what? what is what is this? A, a house or? A house. It's a, it's a suite. A suite. Oh, really cool. Amazing. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> Aha! Whoa, look at this! Wow! Yeah! Wow, this is crazy! It's open for guests or? For guests. Wow, that's a really nice construction. That's cool. I like it. Wow. Okay. Uh, Very nice, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Awesome. So we've just dropped off Bumblebee, changed our clothes and now we're going to have a little walk off around the area see if we can find something to eat because we actually don't, don't really have anything uh, we didn't really get any supplies we were kind of hoping that there would be something around but it's pretty rural here 
so we'll see. But this guy's place is absolutely crazy. Uh, we had a little look around some of the buildings that he's building. Um, it's probably going to be dark by the time we get back. We will include it in the episode for tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And this road here is just mad. So I just said like, no, I don't want to go out with the bike no. to find something to eat because these roads here are so narrow. And like, I mean, look at it. It's like proper off-road here, yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below. And if you really, really, really like our videos, then you can join us on Patreon. The link is in the description below. We will see you next time. Ta-da! We found some amazing stuff here. We asked him like vegetarian food and he's like, guys, this is like a meat speciality place. There's a cow on the logo. Yes. <laughs> but we found some nachos with beans dip, a salad, some chips, and the place is really beautiful, look. Wow, yeah, it's like a proper paradise place here. And the place where we're camping is just like a few minutes away, so pretty awesome.